राधे कृष्णा एवरी वन टुडे वी आर मेकिंग अ वेरी स्पेशल डिश अ वेरी स्पेशल टाइप ऑफ स्टीम राइस केक्स दिस यू कैन मेक वेरी ईजीली एंड इमीडिएटली दर इज नो रिंसिंग सो फॉर दिस वॉट हैव डन इज हैव टेकन टू एंड हाफ कप्स ऑफ राइस रवा दिस इज नॉट अ स्टोर बॉट रवा सो दिस इज अ रवा दैट वी प्रोसेस द राइस एट होम एंड गिव इट टू अ राइस मिल टू मेक दिस बट इन द स्टोर यू कैन गो एंड गेट अ राइस रवा दिस इज द Uh, dosa rice that is washed uh, sun dried and then uh, given it to a mill for uh, uh, upma rava consistency so if you see uh, if you see here uh, this is quite coarse um, so this is the consistency you want uh, the store bought rice rava in karnataka it is almost the same uh, so for 2 and 1/2 cups of uh, rice i have taken 1 uh, is to 1 and 1/2 ratio that means four cups of uh, water i have taken here i am going to set this water for boil and then i am going to transfer this uh, rice rava into this um, and add a bit of salt so let us see how to make that so friends uh, the water is boiling so i am adding this much amount of rock salt and i uh, will just give it half a i mean a half a minute for it to kind of dissolve uh, so you just have to stir the water so that the salt kind of dissolves in the water because it's rock salt doesn't take too long now i'm going to add the the rava that i had measured um one is to one and half ratio so the entire time this has to be in a medium flame and then once the water starts boiling you have to kind of mix the rava very well so keep the flame on a medium flame and uh, mix it nicely so that there are no lumps after this step you have to kind of immediately close the uh, uh vessel close and and put a lid on top of it so that it kind of steams very nicely and uh, we are going to allow this to steam for about 7 to 10 minutes so friends in that 10 minutes uh, you have to a uh, couple of times open and kind of uh, uh, you know mix the uh, rice rava so and turn it actually um turn it um or rather fold it in um so so that you know um the top part that is uh, that has been steamed less kind of gets processed um also so when you are doing this make sure that as soon as you add the water and close the lid you are turning the uh, flame to a low flame um and uh, and uh, you are closing the lid after 5 minutes you are opening it and uh, uh turning it in uh, turning all the rice rava uh, uh, inside out and then you are closing this again uh, here is an other tip that i have to tell you although i said the ratio of the rice to water is 1 and 1/2 you start with 1 and 1/2 and uh, if it is seeming too uh, kind of uh, doesn't have moisture and it's seeming too dry see it, it should have this kind of a consistency because we are going to knead it again and by adding a little bit more cold water so when we are doing that uh, it will uh, gain some more moisture so but it has to be it should not be sticking to your hand and it should kind of um, have this kind of elasticity to it so that is when you know that it is done uh, but one point i have to mention because my aunt is mentioning is if the, if it is a old rice uh, that you have bought from the store then it is going to take almost uh, one is to two and a half times the water but you start with one is to one and a half um and then sprinkle cold water on top if it is seeming too dry um one measure of rice at a time so don't uh, uh sprinkle too much water sprinkle close the lid uh, let it uh, process for 2 to 3 minutes open and see again until it reaches this consistency that is when you are going to turn the stove off and close the lid and allow it to cool for a little bit and uh, you know uh, uh, get cooked in the steam for some more time So friends now I have uh, kept the whole vessel down I'm just going to take a portion of this and transfer it into a um, vessel and then sprinkle some water and uh, kind of knead it nicely so now if you see I'm going to um, sprinkle some water cold water like I'm taking cold water and I'm just kind of sprinkling it and I'm going to knead it very nicely it is going to be very hot so please watch out unless you have practice um it can kind of get tricky so and you have to 
have a vessel of water like this and you keep uh, uh, dipping your hand in the water and using all of this moisture you are going to continue to knead this and it has to be you have to knead it when it is kind of hot so don't make sure that uh, you are not losing the um, heat when you are doing this so you have to kind of knead it nicely and whenever it is too hot to process you can kind of so you have to work the dough very nicely otherwise it's kind of good to the cups are going to uh, crack so this is a very essential step Because it is rice, it's going to constantly keep on absorbing water. But then, once it kind of becomes seamless, and you know that the rice has enough elasticity, that is when you kind of uh, roll it into a nice uh, cylinder, right? Um, so this is the this is how you want it. Now I'm going to take a knife and I'm going to make um, equal cylinders of equal sizes like like this and anything extra you can just uh, cut it and uh, kind of put it back into the rest of the dough and uh, just bring it here so now if you see I'm just gonna run my knife through it so that I get if it's sticking you can you can kind of dip it in the water so that it doesn't stick and then you're just cutting through it like that so now you have enough dough to make five uh, uh, rice steam cakes of equal sizes if you don't do this uh, and you're just uh, plucking from your hand then each uh, uh, one is going to be of a different size and uh, uh, size and shape so it's very important that you get uh, equal sized uh, rice balls like this. Now I am going to show you how to turn this into a cup. Um, so friends, now we have as I said um, uh, rice balls. Um, of equal sizes. Now what you have to do is, you just have to apply a little bit of water and go like this. Um, And uh, the edges are kind of going to crack, so you have to use the moisture in your hand and kind of apply it so that it kind of doesn't crack and it turns into a nice cup. So I'm going to uh, show you actually how this uh, goes. So you have to just work towards the center of the uh, dough that you have turned it into a cylindrical uh, uh, ball, right? Um, so it kind of turns it into turns into a nice cup like this like I'm just showing a 360 degree view of this so you can just um, you can just invert it and kind of press it on onto the vessel bottom of the vessel so that you get a nice cup but is this all done once uh, it is looking like this no it is not done you have to do one mandatory step otherwise when you invert this and steam it it's going to just crack at the center and it's going to just fall flat so in order to prevent it from falling flat what you have to do is once you have done you have to kind of pinch the uh, the tip of the cup towards the inside so what happens by doing this is the cup that is uh, like um, an inverted cone actually kind of becomes like an inverted cup it actually becomes like a cup right so when you have flipped it like this and you are steaming it it because the, the tension on the rim of this cup is towards the inside is, is towards the inside it is it doesn't crack in the center and fall flat so you just have to do it like that invert it and uh, use the next one always make sure that you have your hands wet both your hands wet and you're just going like this in a circular motion and uh, 
working the edges if it is cracking you just have to apply the moisture in your hand like this and then close the close all the breaks right so by doing this you will get e equal sized cups i'm going to show you one more and after this is done right after this is done kind of what you have to again do is you have to just pinch the tip towards the inside so that the 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 tip of the cup that is going outwards is kind of going inwards now so you just have to do that and then uh, reverse it and put it here so you all you you get equal size so i'm get, taking a new one so i'm going to sh show you from the start so once you have a ball you just kind of press it and make a cylinder like this and use your thumb to make a hole like this and work um, both the thumbs and uh, increase the uh, circumference of this cup so that it turns into an actual nice cup and it has to be thin see if you have not um, used the rice uh, ratio of water and if you have not processed the rice properly you are going to see a lot of breaks when you are doing this step so that is when you have to alert yourself and again set it on the stove and sprinkle some water and allow it to steam for a couple of more minutes right if you don't do that once you steam it for five to seven minutes it's going to crack and it's just going to be like flat and uh, not cup like so this is this is the third one and uh, similarly you have to do the rest hi friends uh, what i have done now is i have um, taken a huge vessel of this size as you can see uh, of this size i have put about two glasses um, and then i'm going to uh, put the steamed rice cakes on top of this so this is steaming so i'm just closing it with another vessel so and then we are going to steam it for about uh, 10 to 15 minutes 10 minutes mm -hmm. sorry so as you can see i have made all of these uh, steamed uh, uh, i mean all of these cakes into cups inverted cups and i'm going to now start shifting this uh, to the uh, to this apparatus and i'll go in a clockwise direction and steam it like this and uh, after you add two glasses of water you have to set the stove on a medium flame and allow the water to boil and uh, you can actually see the steams coming out coming through the cloth the white piece of cloth that i have tied and uh, because we are making for krishna we generally don't use uh, steel or aluminium uh, vessels uh, so which is why uh, we are doing this kind of a we are using this kind of an apparatus to actually make these rice cakes and if you are just making it uh, for for yourself uh, you can use an idli stand and you have to you just use alternate idli stands now because it has to steam i'm just going to close it with another uh, vessel hi friends uh, it has been boiling for about uh, i mean steaming for about uh, 10 minutes so i'm just going to open so this is how it is going to look we have to allow it to um, allow the steam to escape a little bit and then slowly we have to take one cup at a time and it is going to look like this it's going to have a nice bounce and it is steamed very nicely it's going to be absolutely you know, white in color so it's it's too hot i'm just putting it back so this is how it is um, done hi friends um, so when you are taking uh, these rice cakes after the steam escapes and transferring it into another plate make sure that you are inverting it like this and uh, do not set it like this and what i have done is i have uh, put it um, i have inverted and i have taken it out of the um, the steaming apparatus and i have inverted it and allowed it uh, to kind of cool down for about a couple of minutes if it is very hot and you are keeping it like that it is going to just crack again in the center and just split so in order for uh, you to prevent uh, that from happening you have to do this you have to invert and put it and allow it to cool down and uh, then uh, um, then invert it like this and after you have inverted what you have to do is you have to add uh, a little bit of ghee to each and every one 
because you are offering it to krishna he is um our little laddu gopa so always serve everything that you make uh, with a little bit of ghee to krishna and uh, just just a, a couple of drops like this and uh, today i also thought i will also show you what kind of goes along with this very well so what we have done uh, along with this is we have um we have um, uh, uh chutney a coconut chutney we have as you can see a green chili and tamarind sauce to go with this and then um in order to balance the hotness of these two things we also have uh, cucumber raita that have seasoned uh, nicely uh, i'm just trying to find uh, a spoon to actually show you that there are cucumbers inside so i am yet to mix this with salt and uh, a bit of grated ginger so this is the combination so please make this uh, uh, nanda battalu kadugu battalu kadugu for nanda nandana and offer it with uh, tulasi dalam and uh, partake the prasadam with everyone it is a very warm and a very fuzzy kind of uh, naivedyam and of course uh, if you make it on a day uh, that is off like on a saturday or a sunday you can have this uh, partake this prasadam after having the offering after having offered this to krishna and uh, take a nice nap um, so sarvam shri krishna arpanam radhe krishna